Question number one. It is an interactive instructional technique in which a computer is used to present instructional material, monitor learning, and select additional instructional material in accordance with individual learner needs. A computer assisted instruction. B programmed instruction. C whole language approach. D discovery learning. Answer. A computer assisted instruction. Question number two. An inquiry oriented learning event in which the learner discovers. A computer assisted instruction. B programmed instruction. C whole language approach. D discovery learning. Answer. D. Discovery Learning. Question number three. Method of integrating language arts across the curriculum that uses the real literature of various age groups and subject fields to promote literacy. A. Computer Assisted Instruction. B. Programmed Instruction. C. Whole Language Approach. D. Discovery Learning. Answer. See whole language approach. Question number four. Instruction in which learners progress at their own rate using workbooks, textbooks, or electromechanical devices that provide information in discrete steps, test learning at each step, and provide immediate feedback about achievement. A computer assisted instruction. B programmed instruction. C. Whole Language Approach D. Discovery Learning Answer B. Programmed Instruction Question number 5 A learning event in which one person explains a topic to the rest of the group or class, and this audience takes notes and listens. A multimedia instruction. B lecture. C drill and practice. D field trip. Answer. B lecture. Question number 6. A learning event that typically takes place outside of school grounds. A multimedia instruction. B lecture. C drill and practice. D field trip. Answer. D field trip. Question number seven. A learning event in which a learner repeats a particular skill in order to fix in his or her mind. A multimedia instruction. B lecture. C drill and practice. D field trip. Answer. C drill and practice. Question number 8. The integration of more than one medium in a presentation or module of instruction. A multimedia instruction. B lecture. C drill and practice. D field trip. Answer. A multimedia instruction. Question number 9. A learning event in which a group of learners spontaneously contribute ideas. A. Peer tutoring B. Brainstorming C. Peer coaching D. Peer response Answer B. Brainstorming 
Question number 10. Instruction provided by a learner, or small group of learners, by direct interaction with a peer with appropriate training or experience. A. Peer tutoring. B. Brainstorming. C. Peer coaching. D. Peer response. Answer. A. Peer tutoring. Question number 11. A learning event in which one learner helps another learner. A. Peer tutoring. B. Brainstorming. C. Peer coaching. D. Peer response. Answer. C. Peer coaching. Question number 12. A learning event in which one learner gives written or verbal feedback to another learner. A. Peer tutoring. B. Brainstorming. C. Peer coaching. D. Peer response. Answer. D. Peer response. Question number 13. The use of role-playing by the actors during the operation of a comparatively complex symbolic model of an actual of hypothetical social process. A. Simulation B. Games C. Demonstration D. Computer Simulation Answer A. Simulation Question number 14. Typically a competition or contest that involves a demonstration of an understanding of content or skill. A. Simulation. B. Demonstration. C. Games. D. Computer Simulation. Answer. C. Games. Question number 15. A learning event in which an individual demonstrates how to do something. A. Simulation. B. Games. C. Demonstration. D. Computer Simulation. Answer. C. Demonstration. Question number 16. Computer-based representation of real situations or systems. A. Simulation. B. Games. C. Demonstration. D. Computer simulation. Answer. D. Computer simulation. Question number 17. A learning event that engages learners in a practical application of content and skills. A. Problem solving. B. Role playing. C. Laboratory. D. Hands on. Answer. D. Hands on. Question number 18. A learning event that involves practicing science skills and using scientific equipment. A. Hands-on. B. Problem solving. C. Role playing. D. Laboratory. Answer. D. Laboratory. Question number 19. Occurs when learners work to determine the solution to a question raised for inquiry. A. Hands-on. B. Problem solving. C. Role playing. D. Laboratory. Answer. 
B. Problem Solving Question number 20. The deliberate acting out of a role, as part of group therapy or of a learning session directed towards understanding that role or the situations with which occupants have to cope. A. Hands on. B. Problem solving. C. Role playing. D. Laboratory. Answer. See role playing. Question number 21. It is an approach to language teaching that focuses not on the language itself, but rather on what is being taught through the language, that is, the language becomes the medium through which something new is learned. A content based instruction. B visual instruction. C thematic approach. D project based learning. Answer. A content-based instruction. Question number 22. Instruction with a great variety of illustrative materials such as visual slides, films, models and specimens may be utilized as aids in pupil understanding or appreciation, not to be confused by sight saving. A content-based instruction. B thematic approach. C. Project-based learning D. Visual instruction Answer D. Visual instruction Question number 23 Teaching approach that organizes subject matter around unifying themes A. Content-based instruction B. Visual instruction C. Thematic Approach D. Project-Based Learning Answer C. Thematic Approach Question number 24 A task or problem, engaged in by a learner or group of learners to supplement and apply classroom studies a. Content-based instruction B. Visual instruction C. Thematic approach D. Project-based learning Answer D. Project-based learning Question number 25 participation or cooperation of two or more disciplines a cooperative leaning b interdisciplinary c thematic approach d peer coaching answer b interdisciplinary <laughs>